Hi, and welcome back to See Wondrous Training. Today, we're going to be looking at assessments again, and we're going to show you how to quickly score uh, and create findings once your assessments have been completed or submitted into the C1 Risk portal. So if you're a consultant working with a client um, or if you're part of a TPRM team and you're managing assessments, either way, if you're wading through spreadsheets, this is a really, really fast way for you to create findings, get that report back to your customer in a timely fashion and move on with your security reviews. So let's begin with the training. So here we are, we're in our C1 Risk platform. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to our assessments tab, or you may go to your assets and to your vendor tab here. Um, and we've got an assessment that's been, uh, as you can see, it's just been submitted. So it's in completion mode. So once you see that status, you're going to get a notification by email, of course, or you can come in and check that status anytime here. And then you'll see um, all the answers have been completed here. It's all tracked here. And now you can see in the assessment that we've got this create bulk finding button. So with all our assessments for what we call list view uh, responses, so yes, no, not applicable, or checkbox responses where we can score the actual response, anything where we can score the response, we can then create a finding. So all of the um, pre-configured uh, C1 risk assessment templates that are available to you, and of course they're available here in this assessment templates section of your administration tab, um, can be uh, are uh, auto created with findings. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to click create find, and you'll see that the findings uh, will highlight in the uh, bubbles that track the responses for you. And now you can just scroll down and see those findings and uh, you can edit these as you need to. So you can edit the description, you can edit the recommendation. And then all we're going to do is put in a due date and click save. That'll now highlight in the answer status. Then we can move on to the next one. You can either click or just scroll down, do the same thing again, edit, um, set the due date as we need to. And then once we've done those, oh, looks like I skipped over one, um, then we can just click save. And now you'll see that all of these are completed. Now, we can also review the rest of the assessment. And if we look at the answers here and we think that might be an issue, then we can also create a finding um, at will anytime we want to, just by clicking that add finding button. Similarly, if we look at one of these findings and we decide we want to get rid of it, we can just exit out and delete that and then move on. So even though we auto create those findings, you're not married to keeping them necessarily. Uh, if you believe that once you've read the, um, uh, the response that uh, actually everything's okay. So it's up to you. Okay. So once we've done that, then we just click accept. And now that um, uh, this assessment is complete, we can go back to our details tab. And here you'll see that now we've got a summary of all of the uh, information. So we've got the uh, maximum score that's possible. So this is um, all of the risk scores combined. And again, you get to configure the risk score for each of your questions, whether that's you know one for risk, zero for no risk, whatever that may be. And then of course, the actual risk score. And note that you can actually also attach your policy here. So you can look at your risk policy and understand what that 3.7 means. Does that mean it's high risk, low risk, medium risk, et cetera? And there's the answer score with that total uh, risk score. So now what we can do with this is a couple of different things. We have the issues that we're tracking here against the assessment. So we can um, send those assessments out to the uh, to the client or the finding owner. We can um, come in here to each finding and we can update these to make sure they're assigned to the correct person and then publish these once we're ready. Or what we can do if we prefer is we can come back to this details tab and then we can either export this assessment now to an Excel spreadsheet or even to a PDF if we prefer. And that's gonna give us this instant report uh, that will be white labeled to your company. So this is our demo environment, so this is our logo. And it will contain um, a full summary of everything that you've done here. So uh, all of the scores, um, all of the questions and responses. And then if we scroll down far enough, any findings that are included. So you can send this uh, to your customer internally to whomever is uh, it's Jermaine and review this with them at any time. So that's how easy it is to get through the assessment process in C1 Risk. If you're new to C1 Risk, come and see us at support at c1risk.com or visit our website at c1risk. That's here. 
And you can always get a free demo, or if you're one of our customers, we hope this training um, was enlightening for you today and that you're using us for your assessments. Thank you very much and have a great day.